Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back to XCOM. Pretty excited. Uh, XCOM Enemy Within. We're going to be doing a vanilla playthrough. None of the long war craziness. Uh, the reason I'm not doing long war for a couple of reasons. Number one, I find that the, the campaign becomes a little bit uh, monotonous. Uh, where you're managing all this minutia for not any specific reason. Uh, the other thing is I'd really like to get a campaign in before XCOM 2 releases uh, in November-ish. So I think this would be pretty good timing. And uh, the cool thing that I like about XCOM is really uh, how do we kind of create these stories of these characters. We start with just rookies and anybody's got a chance to be the star and I love that. Uh, speaking of stars, we are going to be bringing back some of our most impressive um, soldiers from previous seasons, so uh, stay tuned for that. Near the end of the video, I will show you all of the people that I've selected uh, to be on the campaign this season. So, uh, single player, uh, we're gonna go impossible. We're definitely gonna go Iron Man and reduce beginner voiceover. In terms of second wave options, we're gonna choose quite a bit, actually. We're gonna go damage roulette. Uh, we're gonna do new economy. We're gonna do not created equally. We're going to do Hidden Potential. We're not going to do Training Roulette. I actually like the archetypes of having like the Sniper, the Assault, just like the basics of uh, XCOM. So I'm not going to change that up. Save Scum doesn't really impact us because we're playing on Impossible. Or uh, Iron Man, I should say. Um, Red Fog is kind of interesting. Any wound taken in combat will degrade a soldier's stats for that mission. Let's do it. Um, we'll, we'll add a little bit of difficulty through these things. Uh, flanking shot will guarantee a critical hit. That can work for us. It can also work against us. Uh, I'm of two minds about this, but I think I'm going to take it. It'll force me to position my, my soldiers in uh, a strong position as possible. Secret of Psionics can only be learned by interrogating a psionic alien. Yes. Uh, game takes considerably longer to complete. We're not going to do marathon. Results driven. Country will offer less funding as its panic increases. We're not going to do that. Rewards granted for stopping alien abductions are randomized. Let's do that one. Uh, diminishing returns, we're not going to do. More than human, Sionic gives is extremely rare. Uh, I'm not sure how extreme that is. I don't want to get to the point where we're just kind of farming in order to get a Sionic, so we're going to leave that one off. Uh, upon being revealed, some aliens may attempt to shoot at soldiers instead of moving or going into Overwatch. We'll leave that. Overall funding levels drop inexorably every month that passes. No, we don't want our Illyrium source to degrade. Lose all gear from soldiers who die in combat. Yes. Uh, sometimes, like, I can make the argument that, we, you know, we might send people out to collect everything on the battlefield, but at the same time, um, it's, it's a little bit more challenging if we keep it like this. Power requirements of all facilities are increased. No, it doesn't make any sense to me. Aiming angles are good. You just receive an aim bonus the closer they are to flanking an enemy. That goes for uh, the aliens as well. And mind hates matter. Genetically modified soldiers cannot undergo psi testing, and gifted soldiers can never receive genetic mods. So you're either gene modding your soldiers, or they're psionically gifted. Either or. I actually prefer that. I think it makes sense. It stops from, like, the general super soldiers that we might run into uh, otherwise. So that's going to be our second wave options, guys. I'm pretty excited. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it, I'm a bit rusty. Like, I haven't played XCOM for... I think my last video was actually January 1st of this year. So it's been over eight months. Um, I think I still have like the basics down, but in terms of the building strategy and all that kind of stuff, I might be fumbling through a little bit, but that's okay. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. I like it. You gotta watch the opening cinematic every time you start XCOM, otherwise you're doing it wrong.
site of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Oh, alrighty. I'm ready. Now, I do have a couple of uh, cosmetic modifications to uh, our suit, so they have like more of a camouflage pattern. And uh, we also have some, there's like face paint. Uh, you could like black out somebody's face, so you can only see their eyes. It's really cool with the helmets and stuff. Uh, but I'll show you that once we get in. Now, uh, in terms of which continent we're gonna start on, North America's really good. Uh, Europe is okay. Asia's quite good. Um, South America it used to be like my favorite, so we could just fly through autopsies and interrogations. But I think Africa is probably uh, best. Money solves a lot of problems in uh, XCOM, so I think it makes sense to go with with uh, Africa. Yeah, let's do Africa. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. So you can see some of the uh, the cosmetic mods I was talking about. Metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. The face paint's actually pretty cool. It's a good one. Okay. Port said Egypt. Or Syed. Or Said. Regardless, aliens. Let's go. These soldiers, they could be one of the one of the people left in the end. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contact. This is an area. interesting one to Don't start on. <laughs> uh the challenge here is that. We're going to be at a serious, like, range disadvantage. Um... Let's go to the door for now. I'm not going to make any hasty choices, but... If I got to keep you guys outside of cover for the starting one, that's fine by me. One of the things I will miss from, uh, from Long War is just the Alt-O for overwatching everybody, but... I mean, it's not that bad. It's just a nice little convenience. I've talked at length on Twitter about, um, why I prefer the vanilla game over Long War. There's some things that Long War, uh, does that's extremely cool. Uh, but sometimes I just feel like it's long for the sake of being long. Um, and there is, like, a dynamic war which is supposed to change things, but apparently it's pretty glitchy with a lot of aspects, so I've stayed away from it. Uh, I'm excited to go through a, a vanilla campaign. You know what I want to do? I don't really want to just run through here. I think we should take this a little bit wiser. Go out to the left side. Look down the alley. We're clear there, which is great. Uh, so we can bring in the rest of the troops. There's no sense running into the middle of uh, a back alley where we could get flanked from both sides. To me, that seems like you're, you've got a death wish. I don't have one of those. So this is good because we could probably loop around and catch these guys out. We might even be able to get up top. I'm on it, Commander. Headed there now. Now I notice that there's uh, we don't have any indicators showing like full cover or uh, half okay. cover. That could be because of some of the mods. I'll have to look into that after. But um, I mean, it's quite obvious what's full and what's half. So. Uh, and we've got meld. I mean, meld would be great, but at the early stages, like, that is not the priority by any stretch of the imagination. If I can get it, awesome. That's if I cannot get it, well, no harm, no foul. Okay, team. Let's get ready. We were about to run into some aliens, almost guaranteed. I wouldn't mind getting somebody up top, but the worry is that it's only... Oh, that's quick meld timer. There's only half cover up there, and while this is great... Oh, this is probably the one that just... Yeah, it's the one that fizzled. Uh, while that's great for, for hitting things, it's bad for getting hit. Um, so I'm not sure we want to do that. Let's just take a peek around the corner for now. Okay, we're clear. 
What if I come inside here? Thought maybe we'd trigger somebody on our way in, but we did not. Moving to position. Moving. So we'll just keep everybody on Overwatch again. Here we go. If we get a shot or two off here, I'd be happy. Not gonna happen. Sketchy little bastards. Okay, I'm worried about that one. But if I can get up top there. See, I could. <laughs> But then I'm flanked and he's not, so don't know if I like that plan very much. However, this might be an opportunity for us to get up here. Um, yes, let's go here. If we can see the one across, great. If we can't, well... There we go. That's all I wanted. 63, let's go. Come on, Boyland. Good start. Didn't kill him, but... You know what? That's fine by me. Um... At a chemi, let's see. Can you hit Moving from here, out. I wonder? Beautiful. Come on. Damn it. Damn it. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm We're getting everybody way. up here now. It seems like it triggers around this one, so. Might be our last attempt. 74! Come on, Harding. That's what I like to see. Good work. Now, those guys are out of range of the other one for now. Let's see if we can spot with Hoffman. Beautiful. The challenge here is that he's in full cover, I'm in full cover. Um, his cover doesn't explode. Mine does. <laughs> so we're just going to hold off for a second here. This might entice him to come up and take a shot at our guys up top. Or he could retreat. Sounds like he ran over to the right. If I'm not mistaken. Which I could be. Um, now, if we go over here, we've definitely got a chance at being flanked, so... Let's, uh, let's be careful here. He may very well want to come up here and try to flank us as well. That's affirmative. I'm on it, Commander. So let's go like this. I don't really want to trigger another batch if I don't have to. Let's see what he tries to do. Okay, he's up by the dumpster. They're starting to lose ground. Duck! Oh my god. My butt cheeks are puckering already. And like, I should be thinking like, you know, it's just one little guy. You know? But it's never just one little guy. Like, this is probably gonna trigger a whole other batch. It's not, thankfully. 50% from above. That's not bad. Um, 44 from above. That's not bad. Now, Boyland, what I'm thinking... I think we can blow up those garbage cans. If that's the case, it puts us in a pretty good position. I hate to waste a grenade on one alien. Um... What's our shot from down here? 25. Yeah. I'd rather safe than sorry. We have three other grenades after this. Suck on this. Beautiful. And I also don't want to blow them up because we actually lose out on a few things that way. Um, in terms of his weapon fragments. So... There we go. All right, now, where's the next batch hiding? Where's the meld? Haven't seen any indicators for meld other than the one that we lost early. Uh, we might want to just take a time or a second here to reload. Okay, so they are probably in this building, otherwise we would see them. And the other meld is gone. Alrighty. Alright. Wouldn't surprise me to see these guys, like, pop out of here at any point. Out of those doors. 
So I'm going to keep, uh, who is it, Hoff Harding? Yeah, we're going to keep Harding up top. So Harding has a kill, I believe, and Adekami has a kill. Correct? So we need to try to get the other guys some action here if we can. Boylan, come on down. I all right, scouting. Oh, Jesus. Okay. The nice thing is, is that they're flankable. Um, the scary thing is, is that so am I. <laughs> so, what do we do? Do we draw them out? How confident do we feel about that? Because if anything, they're going to sit here on full cover. We're going to be in half, right? They're going to come to the door. Uh, we could... Again, we could kind of blow up a bunch of this stuff. But do I have enough space to bring these guys in to get some decent shots off? We might have a shot from back here. I'm Let's try it, that. Better. Okay, no shots from there. Fine. Boylan, let's go down here. At least it's full cover. And Adekami, come over here. Target acquired. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Oh, that is really dirty. Okay, let's think about what they could do. This whole thing is wide open, so they just need to come in here and... Boylan is toast if that happens. So, um... I think I gotta move Boylan over here for now. Aye, aye, Hoffman should be okay. They're in this area. They could probably come up to here. He's pretty far away. Uh, Atakami is at risk as well. So I'm gonna try and kind of tuck I'm her into the corner here. And you know what? We're gonna hunker down up front. We are smack dab in the middle of the place we don't want to be. Alright, they're buffing each other. That's good. Oh, that's too bad. Now remember, uh, in the vanilla game, if we kill the original... The, the Mind Melder. Uh, oh god. If we kill the Mind Melder, we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, problem is, I've got an Overwatch right next to us. So, there's that. I mean, I think. I really want to try and kill him. But the challenge is, how do we even... Like, can Boylan see any of these? No. This is going to be risky, but I think we can do it. I know we have those guys behind us. I, I'm definitely thinking about it. Okay, so now, if I bring Boylan up to this corner, I think we could do it. Oh, but I'm not sure if the angles are right. Do we take the risk of leaving him out in the, out in the open? I might have to. Heading out. It's 55 only, God. Here, switch to your pistol. Nice. This is risky, though, because those guys behind us could definitely flank, and we would be screwed. Uh, we're also leaving him very, very vulnerable. Now, I've got Academy here, or uh, Atakami. I could probably come over here. I don't know if we're gonna kill him, though. Here's hoping. Oh, he's Overwatch too. son of a bitch. Oh, that hurts. All right. All right. Now, because she's injured, she's not going to be as good. C46. 
There we go. We got the crit, though. Now, uh, I'm still paranoid for a lot of reasons, but let's take full cover over here. All I can really do, like, they're back here. If they come out here, that's going to be dangerous. Because aiming angles is going to hurt us. Um, I think I'm going to hunker down. Give them a target that's closer, but hopefully a little bit more protection. There's three left. Um, there could be more on the other side, but... As long as he doesn't... Op oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wee! Hunker down just saved our life. Saved our life. Wow. Okay. This is the target. He's a little further away than I would hope, though. That's disappointing. 53% though. Like, I gotta... I think I get, that's a shot that I need to take. Um, I think that's a shot I need to take. But where's the third one? If I move here, I'm in better cover against him. Worse cover against him. Uh, we could always just go for the natural kill on this guy, but that's going to be tough, considering. Okay. Okay, we don't have the flank, but let's go. Nice try. I'll get him next time. I should have. I could make the argument that I should just retreat, pull back. Like, that is a real possibility. 25% is not a good sell for me. Uh, let's see. We could go here. Um, that puts me at a little bit of a disadvantage. Pull back inside the building. Thirty-two is not something I'm stoked about. She's going to be the target anyway, so I mean, Atakami could be as well, I suppose. Let's just go for it. The argument here is there's a chance to kill it. Um, Hoffman's definitely not going to get shot at, so I might as well. Take a one and four. Looks like I got the three and four. But there's a rogue sectoid out there, and I don't know where he's at. Never mind. I think we just found him. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Now, uh, we have grenades. Man, Harding, are you in a shitty spot right now, but... You've got full cover, you've got a 55% chance to kill this sectoid. God, would that be good. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Harding's my new favorite person. Might not even rename her. Just kidding. Uh, that's, that's massive. That's huge. Okay, who do we have with grenades? Just Atakami. That's fine. We need to blow this thing up. I wonder if I could get... Let's do this. On the off chance, we don't actually... Or we're not able to kill this alien. He's got nowhere to hide. He can't go to the truck. He comes inside, he's dead. It's basically all bad. Rolling. Oh, that's Overwatch. What am I doing? See, this is the rust. Thank God the aliens are just as rusty. Stick with the pistol. Oh, see? See? This can happen. Negative damage. Oh my God. We don't kill this alien. There we go. 
Well, a little drama to start things off. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Wow. Okay, thanks, Fallon. So we got pinned in the center just as we didn't want to. Um, kind of a bizarre situation how it happened, but that's XCOM, baby. All right. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Thank you. It's very important. Our little XCOM ant farm. I love this. I love it. So, everybody's promoted. That's beautiful. Everybody got a kill. That's beautiful. We've got a support, an assault, a heavy, and a sniper. I mean, that's great. That's fantastic. Um, I can't com complain about that at all. So, uh, we've got some smoke now. We've got uh, an assault with some running gun. We've got a little bit more mobility. Uh, let's check his... Oh, I can't check his other stats now. We've got uh, a rocketeer. Or heavy, aka. And a sniper. Emma Harding. You know what? I knew you'd be a sniper. I'm, I'm just happy that it worked out that way. Okay. We do have somebody wounded for a few days. Um, it could be worse. Being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Now, in terms of research, it's always uh, it's always difficult for me to decide. Like, do you want to go with xenobiology? Do you want to go with alien materials, uh, weapon fragments? I think the real choice comes down to weapon fragments or alien materials. Uh, Alien materials being defensive items, weapon fragments being offensive items. I think in XCOM, the best thing for me has always been kill the aliens before they kill me. And so I prefer to go weapon fragments up front. Uh, so we're going to do that. that. does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. Also... We'll immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Thanks, Fallon. Uh, also, what we need to do Command is get some satellites going, Command like, right off the bat. Control. That's a thing that has to happen. Uh, whereas in Long War, uh, it's not as necessary um, as early, which is uh, it's a different change for sure. Uh, do we want to get a med kit? We've got 25 credits left. Let's check into our facilities. Uh, in terms of uplinks, we have we can't go to the Situation Room yet. We're definitely going to need power. Um, I can't afford anything anyways, so forget that. I'm thinking what we do is we Command bring out control. a med kit. Alright, mission control. The other thing um, that I actually prefer over the vanilla over Long War is the air game. I think the air game in Long War is like very drawn out. Um, it's not as exciting for me. I know some people really like it, but for me I just like the... For, what I love about XCOM is the on the battlefield uh, strategy. I like some of the base strategy, but when you get into the air stuff, it's just, it's kind of monotonous for me. That's my own personal thing. Okay, March 5th. We've got abductions already. Oh, look at this. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. See, this is great because of the, uh, the randomized rewards. Sometimes you see really good ones, sometimes you see really poor ones. Now, do we want to go to Mexico? Do we want to go to Russia? Do we want to go to Australia? I don't know. Either any could be good. Um, truthfully, like we could take this money to build um, factories or to build science labs to get engineers or to get scientists. Uh, so there's always that argument. We could get the scientists up front so that we could get our research going a little bit faster. We get the engineers so we can build things faster. Um, lots of different things we could do. We don't have to make the decision at this moment. The most important thing actually is our soldiers. So, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine soldiers right now. Um, this is one thing from, from Long War that I actually, I like more is that you have more soldiers, obviously. Uh, but at the same time, when they get injured, they're out for so long, you kind of have to manage it, uh, really tightly. Um, 
this way it's not uh, it's not too bad. What I might do is hire an additional soldier with some extra money here, because why not? They'll be here in a few days. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here. I'm going to come back and introduce you to uh, this year's recruits. You're going to see some familiar faces, and you're going to see some not-so-familiar faces. Uh, maybe the faces won't be familiar, but the names will be. So uh, give me a second, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, everybody, let's meet the new squad. So you'll see that there are a couple of people returning. I've picked four. We've got uh, Madame Grelite, uh, James Brown, Buck Buttridge, and D Backstabber. Pretty excited about having these guys back. I'll also introduce you to the new crew. So here's Grelite looking uh, stealthy as ever. Uh, James Brown looking fantastic. Let's actually get into see a little bit closer. Uh, I really dig this um, this mod to give the uh, the additional textures on the suits. Very, very cool. Uh, also, we've got some different facial hair and facial modifications that we can make. Uh, here is Buck Buttridge. So he's returning. He's going to be a support this season. Uh, and our supports, I, I always bounce between yellow and uh, white. You know what? Looking at this now, I'm thinking maybe we should go with white, but it doesn't really stand out as much. We could go maybe... Hmm... I guess we could go 28 or 29. But I think with the camouflage... Yeah, we'll stick with the yellow for our support this season. Uh, Hobar Pent, welcome to the squad, rookie. Uh, let's see how you do. Uh, I like your squatty pinks, that's very nice and it matches your hat. Uh, Leon Jackson, also coming in with the face paint. Uh, squatty pink suits you pretty good for now. Riza Hawkeye is in. And uh, pretty excited to see what she can do. A lot of people were suggesting specific classes. That's not something I could really commit to for obvious reasons. But um, yeah, you're in, Hawkeye, you're in. 33 Preacher. Really excited to see what becomes of 33 Preacher. Uh, Lex Copt, the, uh, the very well-groomed Lex Copt from Russia. Uh, or Brazil, depending on what you're looking at. Uh, Tisha Ray. Pretty excited to see what you can get accomplished. Katarzyna Bolzinski from Poland, uh, or China. Uh, but, coming in with the helmet on. Val Krai, German. And, uh, our only red-headed applicant. And D Backstabber, in the traditional skull helmet from seasons past. So that is our group right now. There will definitely be more. I'm gonna make it a point to hire a lot of soldiers, and, uh, and try to get as many people involved as possible. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna take a pause here, guys. When we come back, we'll choose our mission, choose our squad that's gonna go out, and, uh, we'll start racking up the alien kills from here on out. So, thank you guys so much, and we will, uh, certainly see you quite soon. Let's take a look at, uh... Let's take a look over here at the barracks, maybe? There is a way to kind of zoom in here. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to get, like, really close. Yeah, like, we can get right in there. But we- I can't figure out how to zoom into a specific location anymore. I'll have to figure that out. Alright, guys, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.